Thank you. This is Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Um, you, uh, you had a, a big game on Saturday night, a couple of tackles for loss and forced a fumble. How, how good did that feel to play such a big role in, in clinching uh, another trip to the ACC championship? I felt awesome. You know, uh, a whole linebacker core worked so hard every week and uh, to see all of us go in there and play well when we had to, uh, it meant a lot to me. And I know it meant a lot to, you know, the whole entire linebacker group as a, as a core. So it was awesome. It was a fun game to be a part of. Is there an extra sense of urgency for, for you guys that, that don't regularly start this season, particularly just knowing that, uh, especially with all the injuries that you've had, but on top of that with COVID, uh, just never knowing when your number might be called? Yeah, definitely. I mean, every week is, uh, you know, we work extra hard on preparing um, no matter what happens. And um, we do that just in case something like that happens. You know, a few linebackers go down and you got to be ready and you're expected to perform just as well as the starters. So, um, you know, every week just bringing that sense of urgency and um, being prepared in case our number gets called, like you said. So uh, definitely this year, just because you never know if someone's going to, you know, test positive or contact trace or anything like that. So um, every year, but this year especially, we got to be more focused and, and ready to go in whenever we need to. Hey, this is David Hood with Tiger Net. How much of a help is is James Skalski to, to all of these younger linebackers? Man, he's like a, he's like another coach um, out there on the field and on the sideline. Um, ever since I got here last year, too, he's been a huge, huge help and just helped me learn the defense and get more confident and uh, just trust in my ability and my um, you know uh, understanding of the defense. But he's been you know he's been like a second coach, like a second coach V to all of us and um, I mean I know we're all super appreciative of him and, and his role and not just on the field but off the field. I have to ask you about Levante Bentley if you don't mind. It seems like when when he hits people man they're they're hit. He, he delivers a strike. Is that what you guys have seen in practice out of him? Definitely. I mean Levante is a he's a big dude and you know he, he brings it every time so I think that's one of his biggest uh, biggest strengths of the linebackers. You know, when you get someone, they're going backwards, and he's going to make sure he tackles them. But uh, he's a tremendous linebacker, um, well-rounded, but, you know, he, he definitely hits, and I would say he's one of the hardest hitters on the team. Do you think that shows the the strength of this linebacker room that, you know, Skalski goes out after the first series, Jake goes out with a broken arm, here comes Levante, Kane Patterson is on the field, Keith McGuire is on the field. You know, that the, there's guys three, four deep that can step in. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think that uh, you got to give credit to Coach V for how hard he works and uh, making sure we're prepared. And just us as a linebacker core overall, because I know we're always in the film room together, always trying to get better as a group. And um, I think it showed this Saturday in the game that um, we all push each other to be better and it's been showing up in the game. So, Quick look ahead at, at Notre Dame. Ian Book was incredible uh, in that game at Notre Dame. He's hard to bring down. How do you try and scheme against that guy that, you know, it seems like he's always running out of trouble and, and then throwing a pass somewhere? Uh, I mean, he's a he's a great athlete, as you can see by the film. Uh, he's very elusive. And I think, you know, you could try and scheme to it. But, um, you know, bottom line is just making sure we do our job if we're contained or we're spying or you know whatever we're doing we just got to do our job and try and contain him the best we can I mean obviously you can't get him down every time um, especially with someone who's athletic like him but um, you got to try your best and try and contain him and um, hopefully we'll be able to do that um, a little bit better this this time around. Keith, it's Trevor again. What was it like uh, last year your red shirt year just coming in as a, a true freshman um, and, and being coached, your position coach is, is Brent Venables. We know how intense he is and can be. Uh, just what was that like for you as a true freshman? Uh, it, was a, it was a good experience, you know, um, with how the defense works and just really learning uh, college football overall, learning how to be a better linebacker, uh, more knowledgeable, and, and just seeing what it takes to be great. Uh, you know, we, got a, we had a great group of linebackers last year with Jamie and Chad and Isaiah. And uh, they really showed showed the young guys like myself and Levante and Kane the way and just showed us, um, you know, how, how to act, how to play, how to work off the field. 
and you know we're just trying every day to to get better and um, hopefully uh, play like them. Hey Keith, this is Grace Rayner from the Athletic. Just as a follow up to that, um, you obviously have a front row seat to Coach Venables every week. What do you think he's going to be like, uh, knowing that a he has extra time and b he is scheming for an offense he's already seen once this season? Um, I mean, look, Coach V's one of the best at what he does. Um, I mean, every single week he's got a plan. He's got plays he's putting in and fixing what we did wrong the week before. Um, I know he's going to be, you know, he's going to be in the lab and working real hard to get a, a real good plan for us uh, going into this ACC championship. But um, I just think he's going to push us harder than ever before, uh, make sure we're ready and make sure that the plan he's got is, is good and set in stone for, for game time. Keith, how much you talked about Skalski and how much of an influence he's been on you. Um, how, how about Balin? How much of an influence has he been in a, in a mentor for you this season? Uh, he's been huge too. I mean, you know, seeing him uh, play with Chad last year and, you know, get some good game reps, but, you know, he wasn't the starter, obviously, and just seeing how he stayed focused and grinded and has waited his turn because, you know, this is his fourth year and you could show that it shows how much uh, work he put in and, you know, how prepared he is. Uh, for this moment and just seeing him go out there and give it his all every single play, um, really becoming a, a big time leader on the defense and just helping me along the way too, helping me continue to learn the defense and, um, you know, making sure I'm, I'm staying focused and, and understanding that, you know, it doesn't always happen right away. And sometimes you got to wait and be patient and make sure you really know the defense before you uh, get on the field. But uh, he's been, he's been a tremendous help and um, just a, a grinder and it's really shown this year.